Okay, okay. Energy. ready? Energy. Energy. I just woke Is this up from filming? a nap because yeah, I had right. too big of a lunch. We're back. It's been a while. Thank you. We are just beginning our, what do you want to call it, like a city wrap-up bonus content situation. Situation. Yeah, I think that sounds perfect. Bonus content, bonus footage, roundup, bonus situation. We have a very special guest. You might remember her from season two B, episode one at Sanctuary T. It's Roxy Olin. Woo! Hi. Let's all say hi. Hi. going to work out. It's all going to work out. Um, so thank you for doing this. Thank you for making the time. We're basically just going to like interview you and then we're going to show you some clips and we're going to talk about the show. Tell us how, how you ended up on the show. I ended up on the city um, because they had, Adam DeVillo um, had seen me with Stephanie and Spencer and all them and I wanted me to do the hills. And I said to Adam, because he kept coming after me and coming after me for the hills. And I said, listen, I can't I can't in my own mind say that this is an okay show for me to do when I know that I'm going to risk my health and like my self-esteem and all this stuff. He said, you'll be working. You'll be really working for a PR firm. You'll be with Whitney. You will not have to drink on this show. You will not have to be exposed like that, but you will have to give your full Roxy attitude. So it was kind of just like the stars aligned my first time when I saw Whitney that I was like, oh, okay, this is what I'm supposed to be. Yeah, I think that first scene we shot was that at Sanctuary T, like around the corner from People's Rev. Yeah. I want to design, like that's what I really want to do. And Kelly offered to help me, which is great. It's going to be fun being here. You're single, right? I'm totally single. How fun is that to be single? It's so fun. And the boys in New York are. I know Whitney is here and in fashion, which is shocking, but it's great. And why is it shocking? Oh my gosh, this killed me watching this one. This is the one of the only things I'll say. I know this is bad to say, but I felt I was a little set up with this. Talk to us. What happened? Whitney's fashion was way louder than mine. The scene that you'll see with me when I walk into her house, that's me talking this is it it's very colorful but listen so very I'm saying, whitney is that bedazzled that was not as much me you and i think that whitney knows that from knowing me like that like oh she doesn't i only wear black like that's me putting it on as opposed to when i saw whitney's house for the first time and i was like holy <laughs> shit <laughs> where am i this is not me that's real but not the part about me saying like, she was never into fashion, I don't care about, like that stuff, or I worked for Rachel Zoe, I gave it, like that stuff was not real. The real part was once me and Whitney started to like, and you'll see that, I always clowned her for wearing too colorful as I now I am, so what can I say? <laughs> Even though I don't remember so much, like I don't remember watching that and being like really upset with you. So you had thick skin when it came to what? she would say about you yeah because i just knew she meant well right. and like i knew she really loved me. and she was like here to spice things up on the show exactly we we needed her we needed someone to come spice things up what was that? She she her top off or Everybody something knows. her top it's a jean company. like why are we having her wearing like a baggy shirt it's just not sexy i mean i get that ask kelly first before you say anything because you don't want to step on anyone's toes she's like maybe i do kelly's like, what's kelly up. <laughs> on the patio. Like, this is my opportunity now that Kelly passed out. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna fucking say it. Yeah, she's like Kelly's. <laughs> like, hey. Oh, hey, Kelly died, so I was thinking maybe I could run the shirt now. She's like, hey, Justin Bobby, tell the chick to take her shirt off. He's like, I'm not Justin fucking Bobby, Anthony Fatucci. Talk to us about. Kelly. She was always like 
I'm going to fire you, but I like what you're doing. Like, what was up with that? I really think there was a place in me at that age that really liked to press everyone's buttons, to be honest, and see what I could get away with. Just wanted to talk about Miami for a second. The fighting with you guys backstage was beyond a huge embarrassment for me. Um, I don't work with my friends. I never have. I've talked to you about this before. I would seriously consider if working together and being friends is something that's actually going to benefit either of you in your careers. I don't even know what you guys were fighting about. If it happens again, you guys can go find another job. I shouldn't say one nice thing. I had no real idea of like what it is to collaborate or work with people. I don't, I think I struggled with, with Kelly and we bumped heads so much because I just constantly would, would run up against her. I wasn't afraid of her. She didn't scare me the same way that she scared everyone else. And there was moments that she did just because she can be scary. You think it would be better for her when somebody says, can you please tell me about the excuse for your 315 delivery? That you guys don't stand there like Lucy and Ethel in like some kind of bad Stephen King film? Like somebody goes, oh yeah, as a matter of fact, out of the core collection of 26 pieces, we have the styles number SS154AC. Is that landed or FOB? Do you know what any of those terms mean? I don't think you do. Bring somebody who knows what the, that they're doing. I've had enough of this for the day. You can go now. Okay. But like, other than that, I didn't feel scared of her, at least for the first year. And I think that I just wanted to push every button to make sure that like my views were getting seen as well. Even though I, I didn't quite realize that my views didn't really matter as much as making sure that the shoot was good. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Nice good. to see you. This is cute. You mean number four? Uh-uh. The coolest yeah, I see this. Who was that guy? And was he in fact 5'4? Zach is a really nice person, I should say, because I still know him today. And so I feel a little bit guilty to say anything too bad. But at that time, that guy was a douchebag. Mm -hmm. A full-on douchebag. When you come up, first of all, we had gone on dates. So it was that was real. We had gone on dates. Had you kissed? What? Had you kissed? I don't, I don't know. I, I'll be honest. I was a wild child, but I was a prude mm. for a while. So like, like those a days wild days. child with everything but dudes. And he, honest, I think I had a, I liked him. I had a crush on him. And I was like, and then all of a sudden, once he did that with the girls and I saw how much he was sweating and like, it was just like, so not my thing. Um, looks like he brought a lot of hot female friends. Did he just pretend to, to not see you guys? That was such bullshit. So I brought a bunch of friends and the table seemed kind of small. So we're gonna get on the table and then... Wow, how many people are you Six. Girl. No, there's a guy in there somewhere. And I think that I got one is I was embarrassed because the first guy that I had actually like had feelings kind of for that I was gonna let on the show, and then he like humiliated me by bringing all these really hot models like, and that was the only guy that I brought on that was actually a guy that I knew. I was gonna ask if you talked to him afterwards and like found out the scoop. They had said bring bring girls and guys and I tried to look cool. Is he 5'4"? How tall is he? 5'7". Okay, all right. <laughs> Similar energy between 5'7 guys and 5'4 mm -hmm. guys. No, I think he's actually... I don't know. He's got a lot of freckles. Okay, all right. Well, that... Short and freckly. Perfect. Awful combo for him. <laughs> <My tie. laughs>